Ed Carpenter putting the wraps on his 19th Indianapolis 500 finish. First takeaway from the day, just basic question. What do you take away from it? it turned into a wild day. Yeah, it just wasn't our day. You know, I guess that's the biggest takeaway. So came in super confident and the first stint was okay, but we, you know, we didn't catch the first two yellows right and just kind of battled track position. And then, you know, quite frankly, we just weren't good enough. When you come to a Monday like this, do you process these races differently than you did maybe your first three or four or five years? I mean, yeah, yes and no. I mean, the disappointment's still the same, um, but I'd probably move on a little quicker and just kind of you know, we had a, we had about a 45-minute meeting Sunday night before I left the track, just getting emotions and thoughts while they were fresh on things that we need to focus on. Um, you know, going into preparations for next year's 500, and you know whether that was we had conversations with internally with ourselves and with Chevrolet on kind of big picture, long-term things. So um, it's all healthy. You know, it's part of the process. But yeah, I mean, it's. You know, at the end of the day, I'm, at this point in my career, I'm there for one thing, and it's to win. And whether I'm finished second or 18th, you know, my emotions aren't really all that different. Is it good to get that input though from so many different places that you can really, just like we talk about data during a practice session, there's just more information yeah. from other angles. Yeah, I mean, and you know, it's important to me to get it kind of raw. And, you know, you're not going to remember it any more clearly than right out of the car. So to take the time immediately to, to at least put some things on paper to discuss in the next, you know, the coming months, weeks, months um, is important. How long does it take you to kind of, I want to say, come down from these last three weeks, but maybe just to just stop and breathe for a second? I mean, you know, I've never, I've never won. So I think, you know, all my Memorial Days have been fairly similar with holding the COVID years. Like, have a lot of people at our house, we hang out at the pool, you know, get the grill going, have some cold ones, and be around family and, and enjoy a holiday. And, you know, you know, we've been working so hard, focusing so hard, we haven't had a day to just turn it off in a while. So, you know, just kind of shut it down and, you know, did have a couple phone calls working, but, you know, for the most part, just enjoying the day. Still got to get the team ready for Detroit now to move along to whatever's next. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, I wasn't a very good boss today. I was taking the day off and they were there working. Hey, you earned ready. it a bit, that's all right. But, yeah, we're, we're, we're ready to go. Have a great rest of the season. Thank you.